My name is Eileen Ling. I am the principal investigator in the Ling Brain Lab. And I am an assistant professor in the Center Sprong Center on Aging and the Department of Pharmacology and Nutritional Sciences in the University of Kentucky. I came from Taiwan. I grew up in a city in uh, Taichung, a city in the central part of Taiwan. And my parents are missionaries, and I have one sister and one brother. We travel a lot with our parents to visit people in their homes, in hospitals, and in the churches. So uh, this helped develop uh, my passion, compassion for mankind and humanity at a very early age. I decided to pursue science when I was in junior high. I was inspired by Isaac Newton and Albert Einstein because I was so fascinated by how they can use simple equa equations to dis describe how things work and the beauty of the universe. So I was hoping one day I could be like physicist or a mathematician like them. I was so lucky to be able to admit it to uh, the National Yangming University in Taipei, Taiwan, where I had my major in radiological sciences and biomedical imaging. And this it couldn't be, be better for me because it combines all these uh, areas, including physics, mathematics, biochemistry, biology, physi physiology, and medicine. So after college, I was, because inspiration of my parents, I decided to do missionary as well. So I went to a Bible training for two years. There I met my husband and we got married. Now we have two boys. And shortly after our wedding, we came to the United States uh, because I went to graduate school in the Un University of Texas Health Science Center in San Antonio to further pursue radiological sciences, and now this time with the emphasis on neuroimaging. One of the reasons I, can, uh, I come to UK is that because UK has ability and resources to do translational neuroimaging uh, research. And here we have very strong clinical trials going on, especially Alzheimer's Disease Center of the UK is one of the 27 centers funded by NIH. So this is very attractive because I don't want to just do animal work. I want to translate all these findings into human clinical trial and to make real impact in uh, patients and in healthcare. My long-term goal is that I can find a way to do personalized medicine for each individual. So what we, what we are trying to do is here is build out a database. Even from animal models or clinical trials, we can identify patterns in each individual. So when, in the future, we can give them suggestion based on their <laughs> genetic background, um, how to uh, live longer, live healthier, and we can monitor these changes with uh, neuroimaging and even with cognitive testing. So our goal is that uh, we can identify effective interventions to slow down brain aging and prevent dementia, such as Alzheimer's disease. We are using rapamycin, which is an FDA-approved drug that can show to extend longevity and also uh, reduce neuropathology in many cases. So that's one of the treatment we have. The other one is very cool. We use uh, different uh, levels of nutritional intervention. And we want to see how diet can impact our cogn cognition and to make us healthier, smarter, and better memory. So we're using imaging to uh, identify the treatment efficacy of these two uh, interventions. And we uh, do behavior tests to see how this impact the animal's memory and learning uh, ability. I am glad to have strong support from the family. So on the personal wise, uh, I, my husband gave me strong support. And I also can teach science to my kids. That's really nice. And professionally, of course, for me, I think uh, doing research is more like putting all the puzzles together. So you need to find the right piece and put it in the right place. <laughs> That's really challenging. And sometimes um, asking the right questions and find the right answers for that question is also very challenging. 
This lab, uh, this team is just like a family and we care for one another but at the same time uh, we learn from each other. Each one of us have their own strength and talent. So we learn from each other, we challenge each other, and in the meantime, we also support one another. So in the end of the day, we had a lot of fun.